Hello, I'm Jan Pathat Bhutan, and this is my show, English in the Garden. Very good morning to you if you just woken up, and no need for a rush because this is Sunday morning. You know you can take it easy, easy like a Sunday morning, as the song says, and. j a n p a t h a p u t h o n again, English in the garden. Well, can you hear a bird singing? It's a lovely Sunday morning, and I am actually right here inside my little garden, and I have, as usual, uh, a few stories to share with you. And um, first of all. Is about English language learning. Uh, many of you would like to know, oh, uh, what should we do to learn a lot of words? Or you know, you want to have a library of words or expressions, including yeah, idiomatic expressions. What should we do to actually? You know, learn all of those words. My advice to you is that, yeah, you don't have to, you know, learn a lot of new words. You know, what you can do is learning those new words as a byproduct of researching, of doing something else. I mean. When you learn a new word, you should not learn it out of the context. You need to, you know, learn it within the context. For example, the word "breeze," "breeze," you know, you should learn it from "forty breeze" or "cats," like the Persian is the name of the breed, Persian cat, a Siamese cat, or Kashmir cat. You know, Scottish cat, for example. So, there are many different types of cat breeds, and you learn this through the context. And so, my advice to you, if you want to learn new vocabulary items, is to learn it in the context. And if you do a lot of reading, you do it uh, every day, little by little. Soon, you will learn a lot of. You know, new words, and your reading of the English language will be much and much easier. And I have here actually a book. Actually, a book on cats is an encyclopedia. Do you know what an encyclopedia is? It is a collection of ideas, of concepts, putting them together. It's not. A dictionary. A dictionary will treat uh, word entries and then explain the meaning and how it can be put into use. But here, an encyclopedia is a book of knowledge, topic by topic. And this book has over two hundred two hundred illustrations. You know, many of which many of which are actually in colors, really beautiful. Uh, and it has uh, the histories, the interesting anecdotes or stories about cats. As you can see here, one of the breeds famous around the world is the Siamese cat, and this is a picture of a Siamese cat. You know, Siam is a former name for you know Thailand. Siamese cat basically is a Thai cat. You know, our cat is really famous around the world. It's not cheap too. It's rather expensive. I haven't got one, you know, because I'm looking for one too. This is a photograph, a picture of a renowned Siamese cat, and this is the encyclopedia, the McDonald Encyclopedia of Cats. You know, it's quite thick, but it's full of interesting uh, 
stories on how to look after your cats, the nature, the nature of each breed, their habitats, and what they, you know, know. In other, if if you if you are a cat person, you really want to know, you know, something about your cats and other cats, okay? Because cats used to be, you know, wildlife animals, but we have domesticated them like almost a million years ago. So, I mean, if you love cats, you got to learn something about your cats, right? So, yeah, the encyclopedia of cats. And this is my show. Hey, yes, of course, English in the garden. I'm in my garden. Thank you for watching.